Four armed robberies in just a couple of hours. Arlington police were alerted early this morning. A pair of criminals targeting 7-Eleven stores. Officers went on alert, staking out stores that had not been robbed, and their suspects were caught in the act. Fox 4's Alex Boyer breaks down how the takedowns went down. Alex live in Arlington. What can you tell us? Indeed, Heather. Well, the Arlington uh, police uh, spokesman here says the overzealous suspects got greedy and predictable, giving police officers a chance to anticipate their next move. Now, within a two and a half hour crime spree that began at 1:40 this morning, Arlington police say 17-year-old Paul Mandojano and 19-year-old Akisha Gonzalez robbed four 7-Eleven stores throughout the city. In each case, the two suspects wearing bandanas and hoodies entered the convenience store and demanded cash. Police say Mandojano pointed a gun at the clerks. It was at that fourth location at the corner of I-20 and Matlock that an officer saw the duo running out of the store towards a getaway car parked off site. Gonzalez jumped in the driver's seat. Mandojano took off on foot. The female uh, tries to leave the parking lot rapid speed. As she hits the intersection right there where the 7-Eleven's at, she tried to make a right-hand turn on Matlock. She was unable to negotiate the turn based upon her speed, ended up in the center median, struck a light pole. Her car was completely disabled. Then she fled from the vehicle. This is dash cam video from one of the Arlington police cruisers that shows officers working together to set up a perimeter around the area in hopes of keeping the duo contained. A short time after the bailout, Gonzalez surrendered to officers. About 20 minutes later, Mandojano was located by a police officer in a wooded area near that 7-Eleven. And get this, when detectives entered the serial number on the suspect's gun, it came back stolen from a home burglary in St. Louis, Missouri in 1979. Lieutenant Chris Cook says this just goes to show you that uh, the life cycle that a stolen weapon can have and how if it ends up in the wrong hands can be used as we see this morning to commit a crime. Both suspects meanwhile are in jail and charged with four counts of aggra aggravated robbery, excuse me, and evading arrest. Back to you. All right, Alex Boyer live. Thank you.